All right. Hey, mutable signs, <laughs> gem, Virgo, Sag, Pisces. We are doing a different kind of reading today. It's about the next person coming on your path. What are they here to teach me? What are they here to show me? What is this person um, who is either currently on my path or the next person coming on my path? What are they here to do? How, why are they here for me? What is this relationship really about? All right. So let's look at that. This is for Gemini, Virgo, Sag, Pisces. In the extended, I'm doing something a little bit different too. It's more um, you, uh, uh, I'll do the extended as I regularly do, but then I also look at other signs and I also do a full on reading of, you know, what you need to know. So it's a, it's a little bit of a different poll. It's kind of um, a little deeper. So true intentions of the other person, feelings of the other person, things like that. Okay. So what's going on right now for you guys, mutable signs. Four of Wands. <laughs> I like this card, the Child card. Okay, that is the Tower. But the Tower here in this deck is about institutions. It's about um, things that we revere, things that we offer respect to, things things in this world um, that we see as traditional this is how the world works or this is these are the organizations traditions the you know a little bit like the hierophant mixed with the tower here or the um this can also be a card of doing things in a bigger way okay going from a small business going from a small kind of thing into something that's much bigger and how do you do that through your creativity all right, through accessing your inner child, healing your inner child, something that was once one way is now going to be transformed into something much bigger for you. Okay, that's not about relationship. That feels just like about you. This could also mean going from a living together situation into buying a house or into getting married. These are institutions. Accessing your inner child is about creativity. This is about... This is like a counterintuitive way of building your business. Most people think it is about um, hard work or something. What I'm feeling here is, is the, the actual answer to building your business is about creativity, accessing your inner creativity. We are doing um, a building your spiritual business uh, on the channel. If you want to sign up for that, that's below. We're going to talk about removing blocks to abundance in your work. Uh, having a full-time um, gig or full-time business as a spiritual fill in the blank for yourself. All right. Eight of wands here. The universe, I think, is talking to you a lot right now. There's the tower. Five of cups, ace of swords, seeing the truth about why something blew up on you. Okay. Seven of wands, empress, queen of swords, this other person is on your path to help you see the truth. Maybe you were looking at this from a more naive perspective. Childlike. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Um, also knowing that your strength comes from within. This person is here to show you that your strength comes from uh, your own creative spark your own creative energy i feel like some of you may be running toward a corporate job or feeling like that's safe i feel like this person is here showing you that they reject that idea that corporate jobs or things like that are the most unsafe place right because we're blowing up institutions these days all right we're blowing up that tower that ivory tower and the universe is trying to give you messages around that. The universe is trying to say to you, hey, hey, lady. Um, don't run toward that because that is blowing up. Okay, there is a sense that you are looking back on something. Maybe this is a job that's going away. Something that you had um, thought was safe is being blown up right? And you're seeing the truth. You turned your back on the truth for a long time and now you're seeing the truth. This person is here to show you that using, truly using your gifts in the world is the way to 
be in your power okay having your own thing having your own spiritual business this is what we're talking about in the class ironically enough here is that that is your true purpose on this planet that is the message that you're wanting to you're here to dispense this person is showing you that because they're doing that they're doing that they're rejecting the tower they're rejecting this oh it's safe to be in these corporate jobs or in um of, of uh, some kind of institution that you have felt was safe in your past as a child growing up you've just always seen this as something that's safe now these things are blowing up okay now these things are blowing up this person is on your path i do feel like there's a lot of uh good energy here between you and this person this person is capable of love i feel like you just need to shift your perspective so you can see that this person is somebody here for love you might not you might not be dealing with this person in a love type of way they could be somebody from your childhood an old friend or something like that you're not seeing right you have your back to the ace of swords here you're not seeing that this person is somebody you could be in love with or somebody that could be in love with you you're not seeing that this other person has really fought their way to the top of the mountain right they're showing you they're trying to show you this person could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius uh venus is in sagittarius right now trying to show you that it's coming from your what you are okay let me try to get this coming from your child in one way you can view that as oh i'm so naive or i'm not being i'm not seeing things as they are but the fact is the things that you were taught were you know super stable everything like that everything's coming under question so your own creativity is actually the thing that is the stable part even though it's the opposite of what you were taught The universe is trying to tell you this eight of wands all right this person is also you're having a lot of communication with this person this person is also trying to show you that that's their purpose on your path here so if you're running back this is literally running back to um a, a corporate job or something like that instead turn around and look what you have to offer the world okay i feel like you have a lot to offer the world here and you're Thinking about it in an old way, thinking about it in terms of old paradigms, old ways of doing things, things from the past. These situations are blowing up new institutions. So how do we look at these things from the future? You guys are mutable signs. You're adaptable. That is your like biggest skill is being adaptable. So right when we when we grow in our lifetime in our in our love and how we love people how we are in in work how we are in our creative life how we are in our expressive life how we do what we do this person is showing you that there's a third path okay and i feel like you might not be seeing your own gifts your own truth about how you could then progress forward a lot of people are running back to corporate jobs. It's the most unsafe place you can be because we're blowing it up right now. Do not do that. Can you bring your own gifts out? Can you, can you shift into the energy of what it feels like to use your gift as service and then create abundance for that? Can you move out of that mindset that says, oh, I'm not allowed to have money for my spiritual gifts? As far as I know, being an accountant, being a doctor, right being an airplane pilot those are all gifts and they're most certainly being paid for those things so what you, what the mindset is is that is that i'm only doing it for money that i'm only doing it and that's when you're focused on the money as opposed to what the money can do for you right you can't help anybody if you and i say this all the time if you don't have a roof over your head you can't help anybody but if you're so focused on the grind and just doing stuff for money which is the old way of doing things that's getting blown up that's no longer going to exist you will know the authenticity that's coming out with um god love the millennials god love the gen z's they are so authentic right they're super authentic 
there is going to be no such thing as lying. There is going to be no such thing as doing work for money because people be like, uh, no, I'm not going to hire you because I can see that you are focused in this low vibration. Um, and that comes from manifesting from a place of lack. Okay. That you are doing something just for money. Now, if you're in your spiritual gifts, and you're creating abundance from those spiritual gifts, that is the law of exchange. And that is the kind of uh, work that is coming toward you. That is the kind of re realization here that you are cultivating. That is why this person is on your path. That might be why you're watching this video. That's an opportunity to work with me on the channel right now. That's exactly what we're doing is helping people move from a place of doing this lack business where you're just in the grind to do it for just a paycheck versus shifting into, oh, I want to be using my gifts on this planet and abundance comes to me because ultimately the feeling I want is freedom. The feeling I want is security in the sense that I can create my own abundance. I put my gifts out in the world and they come back to me because I'm using my own fullness. I'm using my own gifts. That's what they're there for. They're supposed to be doing that. That's the reason you have them. And when you're in your present mindset, this person is on your path to help you learn this. When you're in your present mindset about feeling what it's like to create a situation out there in the world for yourself, and you're in the fullness of it, you're manifesting from fullness instead of lack. That's what this is about. Blowing up an old mindset. Yes, blowing up an old mindset. Um, I do feel like this person could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're here to show you that manifesting from a place of True love, true creativity, true joy is the place to be, is the place you want to be. They're rejecting the old. They see it. They have vision. This person has vision. So instead of running backwards to this six of pentacles here, you're moving with your gifts. Yes, is this going to be a new experience? Damn right it is. There's a page. Page is a learner's mindset. So even if you have this gift, are you seeking out books? Are you seeking out teachers? Are you seeking out classes and courses that were going to help you refine this gift, help you figure out how to make an offering of this gift, figure out how to get out of the mindset of, I'm, I can't take money for this because it's a spiritual gift. That is a block. This situation right now is helping you move out of that block. Leo. Two of Pentacles, yes. Okay, so this is saying to you that overcoming this kind of is, here's the answer, and this is what I teach in this class. So um, I didn't really set out to do this reading to talk about the class, but hey, if you want to join the class, there's a link. Of course there is. So overcoming this where somebody else controls the money you get, all right, somebody else is controlling that, not doing that anymore. You're the one that is in control of how the money comes in. You've got multiple revenue streams. You've got more than one thing coming in. You're doing this and it's coming from your inner guides. It's coming from your consciousness. It's coming from where you are strong, what your gifts are on this planet. And then you're able to manifest this feeling of freedom. Being in this feeling of freedom is how you're going to manifest the, the freedom in your life. If you feel trapped by these big institutions, all right, if you feel trapped because you're getting a paycheck, this person is on your path to help you move out of that into something that truly is what you're here on this planet to do. And that's happening for a lot of people right now. So in the extended, I am going to look at, I see Leo here and I see all the air signs. Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I will look at those in the extended, but I'm going to also go deeper into this person. Feelings for you, intentions with you, 
um, blocks that you need to overcome, advice about blocks you need to overcome, and then I will do a second reading in the extended that is just about you and your pathway out of this, your pathway out of this old mindset. This person is showing you what to do or showing you that you, it might be good to shift your mindset. Now it's up to you, okay? All right, so the link is below for that extended. This is the mutable signs, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Sag, Pisces. Awesome. I'll see you over there.